That too looks fresh. Hold on. I guess being a diabetic, you don't mind needles. I'm Michael, by the way. Schofield, I read your report. And you are? Dr. Tancredi will do. Tancredi like the governor? You're not related, are you? Hmm. Wouldn't think he'd find the daughter of Frontier Justice Frank working in a prison. As a doctor, no less. I believe in being part of the solution, not the problem. Hmm. Be the change you want to see in the world. What? Nothing. That was just my senior quote. That was you? This whole time I was thinking it was Gandhi. <laughs> You're very funny. Sit tight. Put direct pressure on that. I'll be back in a sec. So, how do we play this? You hook me up with a few weeks' supply? <laughs> nice try. No hypos on the floor. I'm the farthest thing from a junkie. Trust me. I got news for you, Michael. Trust me means absolutely zero inside these walls. The only way you're getting that insulin is if I'm administering it. Guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other then. I guess so. <laughs> you went to Loyola. You've been checking up on me. I like to get to know my patients. I went to Northwestern, graduated two years after you did. Maybe we met before, you know, drunk, out at a bar somewhere. I would have remembered. That a compliment? No. Hmm. hmm. What? Your blood glucose is at 50 milligrams per deciliter. So? It's hypoglycemic. Your body's reacting to the insulin like you're not a diabetic. You sure it's type 1 diabetes you've got? Ever since I was a kid. All right. I'm not experiencing any tingling sensation, cold sweats, nothing like Yes. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I do. I need them. Okay. Um. Great. Well, I'll call him after lunch then. Thanks. I'm with a patient. Okay. I'd like to run some tests next time you're in. Last thing I want is to be administering insulin to a man who doesn't need it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Glucose kits. This will take us about 10 seconds. Slide the strip into the meter. We're ready to go. I'm sure you know this, but average glucose for the non diabetic is about 100 milligrams per deciliter. So we see a number like that here, and we know you've been misdiagnosed. Seem nervous. I do. You're sweating. Must be the needles. Never really got used to them. Somehow with diabetes and that tattoo, I find that hard to believe. Huh. Bad news, I'm afraid. 180 milligrams per deciliter. You're definitely diabetic. <laughs> Do you need anything else from me? Arm stick and needle him. Okay. I'll see you Wednesday. Cute prisoner. I don't know. There's something strange about him. What do you mean? I gave him the results of his blood test, and there was this look on his face. It was, um, relief. Thanks, guys. I'll take it from here. I said thank you. I'll take it from here. Let's go. Okay. Let's take a look at you. You're okay. You're okay. What happened? Uh, nothing. 
again. This isn't nothing, Michael. I need you to tell me what happened. Don't make me lie to you. Please. My redness or swelling, so that's no sign of infection. I'm gonna keep you on antibiotics for the next 10 days. You should be good. Michael, you understand by law I'm obligated to file a report if I feel there's been prisoner misconduct. There's no way this injury happened by stepping on a blade in a garden shed. If you file a report, things could get a lot worse for me. They're not already? Not compared to what they could be. I've made some enemies. Yeah. You scared? Men. Okay. Um, here's what I think. I think you are scared. And you wouldn't be human if you weren't scared in a place like this. When I was young, I couldn't sleep at night because I thought there was a monster in the closet. But my brother told me there wasn't anything in the closet but fear. That fear wasn't real. He said it wasn't made of anything. It was just air, not even that. He said, you just have to face it. You just have to open that door and the monster would disappear. Brother sounds like a smart man. He is. And here, though, you face your fear, you open that door, and there's a hundred more doors behind it. And the monsters that are hiding behind them are all real. If you want, I could recommend you be sent to ADSAC. With the rape victims and the snitches. It would keep you safe. Thanks. But I think I'd like to face the monsters on my own. <laughs> <laughs>